Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. I recently did a video on testing the various fighters on DCS to attain their maximum sustainable altitude, otherwise known as service ceiling. I tested the F-15, the F-18, the SU-27, the MiG-29 and the Mirage 2000C. Now I've been prompted to do an additional video, this part 2 video, because A, I got the altitude of the Hornet wrong in the previous test, so I'll correct that. Also, I didn't include the MiG-21 and the AJS-37 AJS Vigan, which you guys think is in for a shot at getting the highest or among the highest service ceiling. So we'll do that now. The only things ready to say that we're going to have the, we the um, aircraft clean of weapons and stores. We're going to have a minimum of fuel. So we're starting off with about 40% of fuel. And by the time the test is finished, we'll be pretty much running on fumes. And the idea is obviously to find the maximum altitude that we can sustain with minimal fuel that we could sustain for multiple tens of miles. Now I've read one of our viewers has said that technically service ceiling means that you have to achieve a incline of 100 meters per minute which may very well be true but it's too late now because i've done the other ones now and it's such a small incline anyway i don't think it really matters so we're just going to look for level flight so let's get straight on with it unpause stage tree burn and up we go okay i think we're reaching the top here we're at 52,000 feet i should say that we're using satellites gained true speed here and satellite asl altitude for ultimate accuracy we're about 53,000 feet and i'm struggling to fly it at this moment i've got the stick quite far back and the speed's going down but let's keep going okay correction i've had a good play round with this at up to 60,000 above 60,000 below 50,000 and to actually sustain it to be sustainable and by that i mean you can hold an angle of attack at which on full power you can actually maintain not increase but maintain your speed the best I can get is 47,565 if I go any higher than this and try to sustain it then the alpha just increases and the speed will slowly come down and you'll slowly fall out of the sky so it's very unimpressive I'm not sure why it's so bad presumably just because this aircraft is not optimized for this type of altitude let me know if you think anything different I'll have one more go just to double check now I've tried all the way down to 40,000 feet, it's, I can't get anything more optimal really. So it looks like 47,565 is the best I can get with, well, literally zero fuel. We're literally about to uh, run out of fuel. Okay, so let's get on with the MiG. Okay, we're in the MiG now. Now I'm expecting this to be absolutely terrible because as well as having plenty of power, you've got to have the wings for it. And this thing just has tiny stubby little wings, so I think it's going to top out at about 50,000, something like that. But we shall see. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're close to the altitude now. I've been popping around between 50 and 55, trying to find where I can sustain a speed. And it's pretty much where we've got it now. If we can get up to 593 knots again, I think we've got it. Let's see if we can get that. No, it's going down again. Yeah, we're pretty much... So if I go any higher than this, 53.817, the speed just starts coming down, the alpha starts going up, and you just can't sustain it any further. Again, I think the wing loading was just too high on this aircraft. Plenty of power, not enough wing loading. We're asking too much alpha of the aircraft, and then you just get into the downward spiral of putting more and more alpha on, increasing your coefficient of drag, and just uh, going down from there. So as far as I can see, again, let me know if you think I'm doing anything wrong, but the max sustainable altitude with sustainable speed is 593 knots and 53,817 so at least it's higher than, than the Viggins saying that I do still have a thousand liters of gas left so I'm gonna run some more gas down and see if that helps okay I've run I've run the gas down to as low as I dare really I've only got 200 liters left so I've just shed another well, I don't know but a half of a ton of a weight metric ton off the weight and we've managed to push it up uh, we can now get 494 knots true speed at an altitude of 54649 any higher than that and again the amper, the alpha starts ramping up and we just start losing it so i think that in this case is optimal 649 so let's recap with everything we've got so far let's put these in the charts we've got the vigan at the bottom 47565 feet sustained sustainable and we've got the mig 21 bis 54649 feet Right, I don't think we'll be improving anymore on this chart until we get the Tomcat. So until then, thanks for watching. See you later.